In this video, I am going to attempt to paint with snow. Now the snow might be fake, but the festive cheer is real. So grab yourself a cup of eggnog, settle in and get creative with me. A huge thank you to Headspace for sponsoring this video. Now I do have a slight confession to make. I'm Australian, so a while in Australia we enjoy all the tropes of a classic midwinter Christmas festival. Well, our Christmases are a little bit different. Oh God! So my medium of choice is this snow spray, which I have a ton of and I've never used before, but I know that they use this in like window displays in Christmas time in actually wintry places to create a really cool painted with snow effect that I'm gonna try for the first time here today. But before we dive, we get done. And I'm trying to feel my way through how this works. I started off by playing with the different methods of removing the snow with different textures or patterns or levels of intensity, working my way up to creating a couple of basic shapes or attempts at shading, like this sphere here. The other thing that makes this really hard is painting white on black, because black on white is like line work in comics. You're drawing the shadows, you're drawing the outlines. Whereas in this instance, As much as I love this tool for removing and like you can get line weight variation, it's really cool. But I have to draw the shadow and mostly outlines. You kind of want to have the pop of light because you got rim highlighting. Like on the side of my head here. I've got a bit of a feel for it. Now I just need some inspiration. So we're gonna get some inspiration by looking at what some other people have done. That's a cool way to do trees. Simply design studios. Subtle layering and they seem to be working from the background to the foreground. This one is insane. Like the level of build up and detail, look how 3D that looks, if you do it right. And it can look super 3D if you really lean into the highlights and shadows. This artist, Wubuturin, I don't know how to pronounce that. They're sort of building up the highlights by pushing the snow towards those highlight areas. And they're painting Hogwarts Castle with fake snow. Oh my God! Oh my God. Oh my God. It's so good! <laughs> but you know, there's all sorts of levels. Not everyone does the big, like, massive Hogwarts recreation and all that intricate detail. People just use it as a tool to paint on their shop windows and create a festive vibe. Look at that, that's fun. Oh, there you go, stencils. They're onto something. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I like, I really like this. Masking the, uh, the bars of the windows to create a windowed look. That's really cool, because I've just got one big block of a window and I could use that to sort of separate the foreground and the background. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use that, I love that. The setup has been a little bit hard to pull together in the last week of work. I'm about to start filming this video and I don't feel like I'm in a great headspace, which is, this is occurs fairly regularly as a YouTuber. But you'll notice that I still put out a lot of videos and I'm quite happy in them. That's because I do center myself. I pull myself out from the clamor and the stress and use meditation or mindfulness as a way of resetting. I'm literally just gonna do some breathing exercises and meditation. I use meditation as a tool in my life. Hey. This video is sponsored by Headspace, which is one of the tools that I use to actually get in the right frame of mind. So whether you're looking for three minute breathing exercises to 20 20 minute guided meditations and courses. Studies have shown that 10 days of using Headspace has resulted with a 14% decrease in stress for users. But these practices and tools are incredibly helpful and Headspace makes it approachable and helps cater it to your wants and needs. With over a thousand pieces of premium content, you can find any resources for good mood or goals you want to achieve. I genuinely love Headspace and I'm so grateful they've sponsored this video. And if you want to try having an extra restful and peaceful holiday, no matter what What's going on in your life, try out Headspace. I highly recommend it. You can try Headspace completely for free using my link in the description or by scanning the QR code on the screen right now. That's 60 days, two months of free Headspace for you to try to get the most peace and relaxation out of your holidays. Huge thanks to Headspace for sponsoring this video. Inspired by all those pieces, I decided to take one of those tricks and use it as a foundation for the background of my piece. Specifically, masking off the frame of a window, which I think will look really cool. 
With all of that gridded up, I'm gonna remove this tape later, obviously, to create the effect, and I will be painting in front of it, but it will be a really cool dividing layer. So I can now start to paint the background behind the window, starting off by punching some holes in some paper, which I use as a template for either stars or snow. I'm not sure what it's gonna end up looking like, but I'm pretty confident it'll look cool. Now, as it turns out, the stencil approach is very, very useful, which you can see I start using with the mountains off in the background, creating a couple of layers. First, the snow layer, where I can carve it back and create some definition in the distant mountains, then using them again to tie it in together, soften the harshness and slowly build towards the foreground. I created some more stencils, this time for hills in the mid-ground with much softer elevation. And between this and the background mountains, I used one of my fuzzy carving texturing tools to softly allude to trees off in the distance. Okay, we're here for the fun bit now, which is pulling the tape off. This really feels like I'm working with snow. I've just got this stuff falling everywhere and, well, you know, painting my floor. And my tech, this is my reference monitor. Feeling very Christmassy right about now. I'm so excited, Are you ready? Now, I don't want to blow my own horn too hard, but uh, this is pretty cool. <laughs> if I were doing just like, you know, festive shop display art, I'd be really happy with just this as an outcome, but I want to take it up a notch or two, and that's by creating some foreground with uh, a character, maybe a Christmas tree, which is scary because anything I do could ruin everything I've done. So I'm just going to take a deep breath and give it a go. Wish me luck. I didn't want to risk going in blindly and just scraping back or painting straight on what I've already done. I'm going to lean on stencils like I've already done so far, and I want to do two figures in the foreground of this piece. An adult, perhaps a parent, on one side looking out into the same horizon, having very different Christmassy thoughts to the child, who I'm going to have on the other side. I feel like this sort of represents how Christmas is different for everyone, and obviously not everyone celebrates Christmas, but whether you're religious or not, whether you just enjoy holiday get-togethers or even just taking a minute, whether it's winter or scorching summer, to step back and think about where you are. Now I can lean into more of the details, slowly misting up and creating a bit more of a gradient on both characters and slowly defining them to create character shapes that will work well. Last but not least, there's this strong light source happening but with no origin of it. Like the trees and the figures are all sort of lit from this specific direction. So I'm going to put a star in there, something for them to wish on just like in the Disney movies, which also creates a nice central focus point in the piece. Thematically and visually ties all of the scene together, both the background and the characters with their light sources. Then it's just a matter of adding that little bit more three-dimensional pop to the frames and the final sections of contrast in the figures. And with that, my piece is done.
I'm really happy with this. This was a lot of fun. It's not a medium I've ever used or would recommend, especially to beginners. I mean, I'm a beginner, but that said, I'm pretty chuffed with how this turned out. And if I had a storefront, that I could put this on display with, I'd be pretty happy about that. This was a piece that was really nice to just ease my way through for the whole day, feeling really zen and ready for the holidays. Like I sort of said, everyone's holidays is different, but it's interesting because I grew up religious. I'm no longer religious. And the holiday to me weirdly has felt the same because it feels more like a time to slow down and share family, to be grateful for where you are and who you've got, and to just sort of step back and uh, appreciate where you're at. I'm gonna share the reveals of this piece with you again, this time a little bit slower, and I'd like to invite you to just breathe with me and enjoy a bit of relaxation and a bit of gratefulness. Thanks for watching. This is usually something that I think through by myself or do alone, but I wanted to share this with you just because of the theme of the video and obviously the sponsor Headspace has me wanting to share with you that it's really nice to just take stock, take a deep breath in, let it go, and think about where you are and whether you're in the best place you've ever been in your life or maybe you've fallen on some hard times or are struggling at the moment. The breath that you have is the thing that stays with you all through your life. It's something that can center you and can reset you and just a slow, thoughtful focus on your breath can remind you that even the things that feel really big and overwhelming are manageable. And all the moments that you're experiencing, whether they're happy times with loved ones or some stressful times and challenges, they're all a moment in time. And whether it's something to get through or just something to make last and enjoy, just breathe. Being mindful of who you are and what you're capable of and the opportunity that you have to share here and now with your family, with your friends, with me, and of course, with yourself. One last slow breath in, while you let it out, I want to wish you a happy holidays, no matter who you are, where you are, what you celebrate. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have a restful rest of the day.